So do you want to remove your middle tooth without removing the outside teeth first? In this video, we're going to cover off how to do it. Do you want to remove your center tooth without removing the outside teeth? We're going to cover that off in this video here. However, we have done a video with the recommended method, which is removing the teeth one by one in order, which we'll link up in the card here. Now, this can be quite tricky, especially when the teeth are so much closer together. However, thankfully on this bucket, they are a little bit wider, but the concept is still the same. What we're gonna use is a punch and a hammer. Now, what we wanna do is determine which side the retainer is actually in the bucket. So if you're looking through the hole where the pin goes through, you should be able to see a retainer style that looks like this, which is a little washer with a notch in it. Hopefully you can see this through the hole. If you can, check the other side and see which side looks more like this and which side looks more like a cast. You want to be working on the side with the retainer as this means the pin has less room to go before it unlocks from the adapter. We're gonna put the punch onto the end of the pin itself there and angle it as best we can so we've got enough room to hit the head of the punch with the hammer but without hitting our knuckles. Now that's the tricky part. So once we've got it locked on, I'm just gonna use my thumb as a guide between the next tooth along and just tap that pin out from the retainer. Now, once it's gone inside the tooth, it will need driving a little bit more. However, you do now have the tooth itself to hold the punch steady. There you go, now the pin's popped out. You can remove the tooth and the retainer should fall out. Now, for the purpose of this video, we're gonna use the same pin, retainer and tooth as there's actually nothing wrong with them. So to start off with, we're gonna put the retainer back into the recess on the tip adapter and just hold that in place while we slide the tooth back over the top. Now this time we're going to drive the pin in the same way it came out. We can push it in as far as we possibly can right up until it lines up with that retainer. Now we're going to use the same punch and hammer again. However this side we're working from the opposite side just using the same technique again on the end of the pin and just drive it in. And there we have it, the pin is now driven back through the retainer and the tooth is locked on, ready for action. So there you have it, how to change a centre tooth on a cat style tooth bucket. Now if you're struggling for room, don't forget we can watch our video here where we show you how to do it one tooth at a time, working your way along. And don't forget to subscribe to the Ride Notes YouTube channel so you don't miss another video. Covering off how to do it with... We'll link in the card up... up, 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 up.